Hi, I'm Larry McAtee, Ward 3 City Council, and what a privilege it is today to have these guests on our show. I think you're going to be inspired and encouraged and hopefully motivated to action by what you hear. First off, Gina Daniel. Gina, Morning, nice to have Councilman. you. Morning, It's great to see you again. Good to have you with us. And you are the President Emeritus of the River Park Neighborhood Association? That's correct. That sounds like a good term. You were their first president? And the association was formed how many years ago? Uh, April 2006. And so here we are, and uh, now Tommy Hay has got the actual presidency. But you're heading up a very exciting project that we're going to talk about today, aren't you? That's right. It's River Park Rehabs 2012. Say that again. River Park Rehabs 2012. Let's focus in on that just a minute. And then we have from the Dell Corporation, uh, Chris Scully. Chris, nice to have you with us. Thank you. Good to be here. And what do you do for Dell? Well, I'm the site director, represent uh, about 2,000 team members there. But uh, today you're here to talk about one particular team. Which team is that? Right. Well, our planet team. It's a, it's a, uh, it's a group of volunteers that uh, focuses on the environment, our neighborhoods, uh, and really what we call a green team. Well, great. And then we have from Hodges Trucking, uh, Justin Hodges. Justin, nice to have you with us. Thanks for having me. Now, how does a transportation and energy company and a computer company get involved with a neighborhood. Justin, how, how did Hodges get involved? <clears throat> We're a uh, subsidiary of Chesapeake Energy and uh, each employee is required each year to donate at least four hours of their time to community service. Uh, there's, there's multiple projects out there that we can choose from. I had heard through the grapevine over uh, at Chesapeake that uh, River Park neighborhood was needing some help. I myself love getting into construction projects. Uh, so I got a hold of uh, 25 to 30 guys in our group, and uh, they all agreed that uh, they thought it'd be fun. So this will be our third year to get involved. And what kind of work have you done in the past for River Park? Everything from uh, cutting down grass that's six feet tall and hauling off probably five or six dump truck loads of uh, debris uh, to uh, building multiple decks, hanging screen doors, fixing windows, flooring, anything you can think of. Fantastic. Chris, how about Dell? How did Dell get involved? Well, they're, they're our neighbor. I mean, that, that's really where it started is, is they're, they're right in our backyard. So we, going back six years, we've had employees uh, at Dell that just had a, a, a giving heart that wanted to get involved in the neighborhoods around us, uh, reached out going back over six or seven years ago, started with a, a roofing project, I believe, that's right. uh, where we roofed <laughs> a house there. And, and it just continued on. We, we built a great relationship with them. Um, and our, our green team or our planet team, and our, as well as our community involvement team, just continues to want to get out there and serve. So we've, we've been with them over uh, six years. Now, it's just as I know we haven't nailed down exactly how many people and exactly when, what projects you're going to work on, but how many people from Dell do you anticipate being involved this summer at River Park? Well, it'll depend on the project list that, we, that we're able to support, but um, some of the projects are smaller projects. We may get five or six people, but some of them will be as many as 25 or 30. So I think in, the, in years past, you know, we, we could count, uh, uh, you know, several dozen people a year that would come over. Now, in the past, Gina... What has the involvement of Hodges Trucking and Dell meant to the residents of River Park? And what can we look forward to this summer as a result? We're really, really excited um, about this year because of the past. And I can tell you, uh, Larry, the quality of life that these gentlemen, what their teams have supported us in River Park for a person that can be on the inside of their home and can literally be looking outside through uh, broken glass, through walls that are falling down. They're not, it's not safe for them to enter into a room because the floor is going to collapse underneath them. Um, to not be able to go out on their back porch because there's not a porch there. It's gone. It's broken down. Um, you can't put that into words. I mean, we're, you're talking about a quality of life for individuals that they're at the end of their journey in life and there's no resources for them you know there's waiting lists that they can get on through different agencies but um, oftentimes we see that they reach the end of their life before they get you know to the end of, to till it's their turn so we just try to move their turn up a little bit well you have a number of needs in the river park area but now the title of our effort this summer is going to be what river park rehabs 2012 that is a targeted effort to what demographic group um, the age range is from 62 to 90 years old, uh, so we have a, um, 
13 projects that we want to try to accomplish this year and uh, you know we've never been able to not reach our goal so we're determined we're going to uh, reach that again this year that'll bring our total projects to date to over 120 projects that we've completed over seven years. Now wait a minute, 120 projects? 120, how awesome is that? You know, I was thinking this morning as I was driving down to the studio, I was looking at the uh, Devon Tower mm -hmm. off on the horizon and, and what a great accomplishment that is. But I was thinking back of what you all have accomplished with the help of companies like Dell and Hodges Trucking. Uh, the lives that you've been able to touch and 120 projects over the last seven years? It's amazing. It's an amazing number. And you know, even though that's a huge number, Councilman, if it were just one project, the difference for that person, for the quality of life that it gave them and the dignity that it gives them back, it's not about the numbers. It's about the person that you can make a difference in their life and you know that there's no resource for them. That's what it's about. Well, let's talk a little bit about resource. We've got manpower, uh, we've got equipment, uh, we've got needs, projects. What else do we need to fill out the, the cycle? There's, there's always a need, of course, for money. All of these projects, the homeowners, um, they don't have the funds, so we have to raise funds for those, and we do fundraising. You know, we're not always, uh, we try really hard to raise funds ourselves in our neighborhood. But uh, things, money, of course, donations of paint, of materials, shingles are very expensive. Uh, we have a roofing job that we want to do this year. So anything to help uh, with materials, that's awesome. Paint, paint goes, uh, you know, the, any contribution of paint would be wonderful, interior or exterior paint. So a businessman out there that has access to paint, either interior or exterior? Right. Anybody who has access to roofing materials? How do they get them to the work site where these guys, people, are, are going to go to work? They can contact Neighborhood Alliance. Um, Neighborhood Alliance has supported River Park projects for seven years now. They can contact Georgie uh, or Laura over there. She can help with a pass-through donation. It just needs to be earmarked for River Park. 100% of those funds go directly towards our rehab projects. Now, I know you've got Georgie on speed dial, but for our folks out there who don't know the Neighborhood Alliance number, how about giving it to them? R Neighborhood Alliance, the number is 528-6322. Say it again. 528-6322. And any donation can touch a, touch a life. Councilman, I, I wish that I, if, if the viewers could know what it means for someone who knows that that's not going to happen for them and to see those projects happen, what these guys do is incredible because um, there's not a long line waiting for someone to reach out and help them. And for what they do, I, you know, I can't put into words. It, I get really emotional about that because I know where they're at in their life. And so it's, it's a really big thing. I'm going to segue away from you before you break out <laughs> in tears here and go back to Justin. Cause, Justin, have you gotten any comments back from any of your employees in the past of what it's meant to them? and what they've seen as part of their involvement? Oh, sure. Uh, some of these guys have never had the opportunity to volunteer. I, I guess you, you always have the opportunity, maybe never taken it before. So uh, for the company to allow us the time to go do this, it's, it's really changed some of our guys' lives to be able to help out like that. It really, it, you know, and, and even though they set aside four hours, many of us put in way more than that because we're gonna be there till the job's done. So it's, it's neat to be able to see that we've changed some lives. You know, and it's interesting, a lot of people think of an energy company and all they're interested in is the bottom line and dollars, but your company through Chesapeake, your employees have to spend four hours a year on community involvement? Yeah, at least, yeah. Mm -hmm. Is that off the clock or on the clock? That's on the clock. That's on the clock. Mm -hmm. I, I think that's an important distinction. It is. Well, and he's not talking about the hours that he puts off the clock, though. Right, right. They, four hours, they go way beyond that. I can oh, promise I know what you. you I, I know how sneaky you are, Gene. I know what happens here, okay? I'm thinking here, they're talking about four hours, and once you get them over there and they begin to see the people and their gratitude, right. uh, it's tough to, to lay down your hammer, in effect, and leave, isn't it? That's exactly right. And, and trust me, those guys from Hodges and Dell, it's incredible the work that they do. And, I, and I'm so happy that we had the opportunity to talk about their giving hearts and what they do and the difference that they make. You know, it, it's and just every little bit helps, doesn't it? 
It's amazing. It's just, it's just awesome. Everything you would be the difference that they can make, and it's such a perfect fit for us because some of the projects that Dell helps us with throughout the year, whether it's through the food pantry or food giving, uh, delivering appliances, there's things that the the people from Dell. Um, can't do that Hodges can come in and do with their heavy equipment so it's a perfect perfect fit it's a perfect match so it's just it's been wonderful they're they're such wonderful neighbors for River Park and and we're so proud to have that partnership with them what's happened overall in River Park over the last seven years what kind of a transformation has occurred I would call it a rebirth because um, it was a neighborhood that was considered blighted um, the city of Oklahoma City, we were kind of off the map, but working through um, corporations like uh, with Hodges and Dell and Chesapeake, Flint Co, um, working with nonprofits, Community Action, Rebuilding Together, networking with Neighborhood Alliance and the city of Oklahoma City, with you, Councilman, we've been able to turn that neighborhood around. It's no longer a blighted neighborhood. It's a friendly neighborhood. We have a wonderful, a beautiful park. Uh, we've received grants from the uh, Oklahoma City Community Foundation. It's a group of people that have a vested interest to raise our neighborhood up, and we've done just that. And uh, you just had a very successful event uh, this past Easter season uh, with your Easter egg hunt, didn't you? Oh, it was great. The West Side Rotary Club, they were awesome. They uh, helped sponsor that for us. Uh, M&M Tile was another one of our sponsors. We had over 300 kids there. It was a beautiful, a beautiful day, beautiful children out there. It was wonderful. So we have a lot of a lot of wonderful friends that want to see our neighborhood succeed. Whether it's you know the little kids or the the seniors, you know we we try to take care of our own, but we have a lot of people there that that help us support us along the way too. And I liked what you said. This this uh, effort this summer right. is aimed at the seniors, dignity of life, quality of life, and time. You mentioned is of the essence because some of the right. seniors are getting promoted to heaven. In, in the, in the days ahead, yeah. and, and their home is up there. Won't need That's uh, right. painting and windows and the like, but here they do. That's exactly right, Councilman. And when you get to that end, you know, that's where you're at. And to make that change, it's awesome. Can you just give for our uh, viewers, without too many tears, just a quick synopsis of one instance? Uh, paint us a picture of, of of a situation out there that has been helped and will be helped. Um, one of our senior residents that's disabled, um, this will be our third year working on her project. Uh, when we went into her home three years ago when she allowed us in, one of the things that I'd like to say is those seniors don't come to us. They never ask for help. Um, we get that through word of mouth or maybe their neighbor that, you know, this person could really use some help. And, and that was what we found out for her. Um, the walls, the house hadn't been touched in 50 years. The sheetrock was peeling, the floor was falling, the wall had fallen down. She just shut the door because she knew there was no help coming for her. And uh, when I um, met her and our teams went in, this will be our third year to finally get her project completed because it's taken that long to do all of the projects that was necessary there. And we're going to finalize it this year, put her new carpet and linoleum in. You know, how beautiful is that? And to see the turnaround, because with many seniors, when their homes are that way on the inside, they don't want you to come in their home because they're too embarrassed. Embarrassed. And to, to have someone to come in and do that work, it changes their life. You know, now everyone's welcome. Come in and see my home. Come in and see my home. You know, how, how awesome is that? That is really awesome. Guys, thanks for coming. Thanks for what Hodges Trucking through Chesapeake is doing. Thank you for Dale. You guys have been great citizens in town. Gina, thank you for your efforts. You know, I'm reminded, uh, this past Sunday, I taught a lesson in, about the Good Samaritan. And folks, if you want to see three Good Samaritans, there they are right there, Justin and Hodges, Dell and Chris and Gina, you and the folks at River Park. God bless you as you continue to improve the quality of life for our citizens. And I hope you've caught their passion. If you can help out, Neighborhood Alliance is the number, one more time. 528-6322. Get involved, change your life. Thank you for watching.